welcome back to my channel. Today we've got The Night We Burned by S.F. Kosar. So this is a book we got from Unplugged. Now this book was about kind of like a murder, kind of like a mystery that was going on to find out between two timelines. Also what happened 20 years ago between what is happening 20 years after someone finding out a kind of murder thing going on, a cult. So this is the front cover, which I love the cover. Signed by the book author, <laughs> and here is the cover. Her past was in ashes until it came warmer back once more. Dora is always alive, aware of the line between fact and fiction. As a fact checker at an online magazine, her job depends on it. As a woman around, out running her secrets, so does her life. But when a colleague decides to pursue a story about a murder in her hometown, one linked to a deadly fire at a cult compound 20 years prior, all Dora's comfort. Carefully spung deceptions are suddenly at risk. If you can't stop the story, her entire life is on, on the line. As Dora works out with her colleague, altering facts to hide her past along the way, she's thrown back into a world she tried desperately to leave behind. One of the rich world and belonging of danger and darkness, a world two girls promise to help each other through into it all went up in flames. As her life piles up, so does the murders, till Dora realises she won't be able to be lucky enough to escape twice. So that was a book I was like, oh, that sounds good. <clears throat> so, it starts out with 20 years ago, her being homeless, like, stuff like that. And basically, <clears throat> Dora's colleague Miles discovers a murder that could be linked to a mysterious cult fire that happened 20 years ago. From the start of the book, um, we know that Dora was involved somehow, and it will take more than a story for a reader to learn exactly how Dora is desperate to make sure no facts or clues lead her back to her. But Miles is good at his job and knows her behaviour is a bit of out and ordinary. Uh, the author, uh, so the author tells the story by bouncing back and forth between present day and what the reader assumes was Dora's life 20 years ago. As her name, if it was her, if tre uh, that 20 years ago it was more likely her being named Christy and being homeless. As the story progresses we learn about the oracles of innocence, the strange cult based on Ben Organ who the Soviet leader is former Beyonce is a member almost all of women a full of them are like pregnant they have their children with them live in caring sections of the mind uh, they are viewed of being of everyone's children at the point of the book this seems kind of creepy or more interesting and dependent on your jam but we just barely touch the surface so the author feeds us the backstory spin in spanning the year leading up to the fire while present day Dorof works to find out what other clues are out of there enjoy following Dora's attempts discover as Miles continues to inch closer closer to uncovering the truth. Other characters call it age, um, aspire German Snower and his friend Armin somewhat throw a wrench into the mix by revealing their own interest in the mysterious murders and are eager to help add in the bases Dora already needs to cover. So I found myself somewhat conflicted while reading this book. I wanted to ha find out what happened so that I could determine whether or not to have sympathy for Dora. Did Dora start the fire? Did she murder everyone to escape the cult? What happened to two to of the children? So the author tragically gives us the answers, both in the past and present, forcing the readers to connect the dots all the way to the end. And it kind of was like, oh, this is like almost like a mystery murder. you got to figure out what the hell was going on until you get to the end of the book. That's kind of something I like in a book. That like gives you, kind of gives you in the mind of sights where like, okay, this is what's going to be in the book. Now you've got to give me the, now you've given me the points. So in the book, Kosa explains why people join cults and how they become an immersed and loyal to the full. Some cult mem members in the story were so desperate for the leader's approval, they would do nearly anything for it. With jealousy grows between two close friends who might have had a stronger bond in a different circumstances. When we learn in their backstory, we begin to maybe understand why they cling to the idea of belonging somewhere and be a part of a communi community, even if the community is questionable at the best. The switching back and forth between past and present slowed down the plot. While I understand this choice was in tour for storytelling, the tragedy doesn't happen all of a sudden, but rather things steadily becomes weirder and more uncomfortable. Also seeing the gradual arc of the enforcement friendship also makes it more heartbreaking when it collapses. Due to this, I found myself bouncing between impatience and enthrallment. Dora also discovered she has some health problems, which is one of what I wasn't sure why it was relevant to the story as a whole. And it doesn't didn't really add anything to the storyline or as a her as a character. Even though the author rewards patience to read towards the end of the book, 
She reveals a plot twist so crazy, it's so out left behind the field, that I fully gasped, dropped my drawer, drawer and had to think about conflict and everything I had read up to that point. It threw me from a loop and I liked it. But overall, this book was enjoyable, um, but mostly because I found the subject more matter of the cults were interested in the plot twists at the end saved it for me. Readers who are in interested in cults and slow burning phone reveals will definitely get this. Is. I will say there was quite a few trigger warnings. I'm not going to like a lot of trigger warnings in them, so um, just be warned of that. For me, when I obviously just reading through, you can try and tell that there was more the there was abuse in it and homeless stuff. It's just something that can make me cry a lot. Um, that I couldn't stand for it. So I hope you guys are all right with this. If you have been this book, what did you think of the book? And what would you do to, would you read the book again, shall I say? And I will see you guys next time for the next book. Excuse me, I've got hiccups. What would you read the book again? And what did you like about it? Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.